Right, before we start, let's just check the spell's really down. Yes, it's down. Now, you need to stand so that you're facing the centre of the circle. And you need to be about six inches away from the rope. And one way of checking that is to do this. And just try that. OK, yes, that's fine. If you'd like to hold the tail end in the same way that you were holding the sally, left hand above the right, keep your two hands together. Remember that it's important to keep them close. Right. Now, this time you're going to be doing what I was doing. That is, you're going to be looking after the backstroke, I'm going to be looking after the handstroke. When I pull down at handstroke, you'll feel the rope take your hands up, and as soon as you can't feel anything, I want you to bring the rope straight down. It's a long, gentle pull so that your hands up, end up facing the floor. Okay? Right, now then, Matthew, you've done everything except catch the sally, haven't you? You've pulled down a backstroke, you've been pulling the bell off, and now we've got to put everything together. So the important thing to do is to make sure that your hands come up in the right way to catch the sally, so that you've got the rope in the right place in the corner of your thumb and finger. OK? So let's just have a look at that. You pull down at backstroke like this, your hands come down to face the floor, OK? And as they do, and as you bring your hands up, your thumb opens up like that, your hands open up like that, and your hands go onto the sally like this. Now then, let's have a think about your grip. Your left hand needs to be above your right hand, and your fingers need to be open and facing slightly upwards like this. And you need to reach up and grip the sally like that. Have a go. OK, yes, and try that again. Right, remember to pull straight, and remember to pull so that your hands end up facing the floor. No need to pull hard, it's just a gentle guiding the rope straight down. <laughs> 